Many remember LT's dominance in San Diego, but seem to forget just how talented he was at TCO. So let's go back in time. Growing up as a massive Walter Payton fan, it was in the stars that a little kid out of Rosebud, Texas would become a star. Although he was gifted at practically every single sport under the sun, from basketball to baseball to track and of course football, he decided to focus on the gridiron going into high school. Funny enough, LT began as a linebacker, but was just a natural on offense and found his home in the backfield because of it. Following his change to offense, Ladanian kept getting better and better and just became a monster on the field. As a senior at University High School in Waco, Texas, Tomlinson had over 2,500 yards and 39 touchdowns as he gained some notoriety in the Texas football world among the likes of future teammates Drew Brees and Quinton Jammer as a district MVP. Not only was he just a monster on the football field, but he also killed it on the track and field. See what I did there? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! But anyways, he was a member of the school's 4x100 squad that ended up getting a 41.82 second time. Pretty dang solid. But anyways, due to the popularity he gained through his insane senior season, some legit schools were after him, but he ended up choosing TCU to become a Horned Frog. Although they are not one of the biggest schools in the country, or even Texas, TCU has been around for a little bit, and for all you old heads out there, they had one of the best dual threats in Sammy Ball. But I'm sure many of you guys have no idea who I'm talking about, and that's fine. But I just wanted to say that TCU is not some small school, but we're definitely struggling before LT. In 1996, while LT was a senior in high school, the team went 4-7 in the WAC, with teams like New Mexico, Rice, and SMU ahead of them. Upon that, the team only went to one bowl game in the previous 12 seasons, and as a result, they were downgraded to the WAC after the Southwest Conference broke up. Dang. That's tough. Needless to say, TCU was in need of some help, and LT was only getting better and better. As a freshman, LT rushed for over 500 yards and 6 touchdowns, and then followed it up with over 700 yards and 8 touchdowns in his sophomore season, while he split the backfield with former Packer Basil Mitchell. So thankfully for LT, with Basil leaving TCU in 99, LT was ready for a showcase as a junior, and yeah, he went off. His nearly 2,000 yards and 20 touchdowns were insane. But what's even crazier is that against UTEP, he rushed for 406 yards. His game against UTEP was so good that the record held until 2014, when Melvin Gordon beat it by just two yards with 408. Anyways, LT proved that he was arguably the best running back in the country. And not only did he just improve, but TCU went from 1-7 in his freshman season, to 7-5 as a sophomore, and then 8-4 in his junior showcase. Usually when a team is noticeably better when a running back is going off, it means that he is special, and LT showed just how special he was as a senior. In his last season with the Horned Frogs, LT was at his best with over 2,100 yards and 22 touchdowns. Not only that, but his NCAA leading yardage earned him a Heisman finalist nod as he was the fourth in the voting, behind only Chris Wanky, Josh Heupel, and his bud in Drew Brees. Definitely an interesting group of guys, two of which are practically irrelevant in the NFL landscape and I'm sure you could guess who they are. But anyways, in his four seasons at TCU, LT rushed for over 5,200 yards, which is currently the 12th best all time, only behind some college stars and guys like D'Angelo Williams, Jonathan Taylor, and Tony Dorsett. Not only did he just rush for a few yards, but his number five was retired by TCU in 2005. And then following that, nearly a decade later in 2014, he was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. Anyways, LT put together one of the best running back careers in NCAA history with the Horned Frogs as he began his journey to Canton. Ladanian Tomlinson is one of the best running backs in NFL history, but many forget that he became a star at a little school in TCU. Frog ambassador, a doer, dreamer, and now a Hall of Famer. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, it would be amazing if you could subscribe, like, and comment down below what videos you want next. But anyways, see you guys soon and peace out.